Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the talk on Feng Shui. Today we will be learning how to harmonize the chi of your home with color. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When learning the principles of Feng Shui, I like to approach the subject as if the knowledge were placed on an ever-descending spiral that moves ever deeper into the understanding of Feng Shui. First, we explore what Qi is and the different types of Qi. Then we moved around the spiral of knowledge again at a deeper level and explored the concepts of yin and yang, and then we moved on to a discussion on the five elements and the three cycles and the nine star system and your lucky stars and the fortune of your door and the study of the Bagua and the two diagnostic methods, the effects of clutter, difficult door and window placements and how to handle problems associated with the shape of your home. And today we'll learn how to use color to harmonize the chi of your home. We have already learned what your personal colors are from your birth and lucky stars and how to harmonize the element of your birth star with the element of your door's compass direction. We have also learned how colors can be used to balance irregularities in the shape of your home. And now we will learn how to use colors to bring each area within your home into complete harmony with the element of the door's compass direction regardless of who lives in the house. First off, take a copy of your basic floor plan. If you live in a home with two or more floors, you will need to work with the floor plan of each floor. To find the door's compass direction, remember the door direction is found by standing in the doorway and looking directly out. The direction you are facing is the compass direction. When analyzing the compass directions of the second floor, remember that you determine this by standing at the top of your stairs and looking down them. And the direction of the basement is that compass direction that you are facing when you are standing at the bottom of the stairs, looking up. This method of determining compass directions can be taken a step further and you can apply it to each individual room. In this case, you determine the compass direction of that room by standing in the doorway facing out of the room. Going back to the floor plan of your living space, the next step is to project the outlines of your space to get a square or rectangular shape. Then mark in the eight compass directions around the drawing of your floor plan. Then you pencil in the two diagonal lines from corner to corner as shown in the first drawing, and then draw a radial diagram over the floor plan to contain the eight compass areas as shown in the second diagram. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan places south. The areas to the southwest, west, northwest, and northeast are out of harmony and in need of balancing as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use white in the areas to the southwest and northeast and yellow in the areas in the west and northwest. Remember that white and all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. In the case of white, you could choose anything from ivory, gray, or silvers. The yellow color indicated in includes anything from deep browns through tans and oranges to the lightest of golds. So there are a lot of color choices here. The areas to the north, east, southeast, and south are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you may use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with all the stars of the doorway or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to colors. 
In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan faces southwest. The areas to the north, east, southeast, and south are out of harmony, and need of balancing is shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use white in the areas to the north and south, and red and purple in the areas in the east and southeast. Remember that red and all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. In the case of red or purple, you could use anything from every hue from deep to light, and might include such colors as rose, violet, or possibly lavender. The areas to the northwest, west, southwest, and northeast are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you may use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the star of the doorway, or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to colors. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan faces west. The areas to the north, east, southeast, and south are out of harmony and need of balancing as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use any shade of green or light blue in the area of the north, and navy or black in the areas in the east and southeast, and yellow in the south. Remember that yellow and all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. In the case of yellow, you could choose anything from every hue from deep to light and might include such colors as brown, yellow, gold, tan, and so forth. The areas to the northwest, west, southwest, and northeast are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you could use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the star of the doorway, or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to color. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan faces northwest. The areas to the north, east, southeast, and south are out of harmony and need of balancing as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use any shade of green or light blue in the area of north, and navy or black in the areas in the east and southeast, and yellow in the south. Remember that yellow and all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. The areas to the northwest, west, southwest, and northeast are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you may use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the star of the doorway. As you can see, you can use the colors of your lucky stars in this area if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to colors. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan faces north. The areas to the southwest, west, northwest, and northeast are out of harmony and need of balancing, as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use any shade of green or light blue in the area of the west and northwest, and white in the areas in the southwest and northeast. Remember that all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from anything from every hue from deep to light. The areas in the north, east, southeast, and south are all positive and in no need of special treatment, and in these areas you may, you may use the colors of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the star of the doorway, or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to colors. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan places northeast. The areas to the south, southeast, east, and north are out of harmony and need of balancing as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use white in the area of the north and south, and red or purple in the areas in the east and southeast, 
Remember that all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. You could choose anything from every hue from deep to light. The areas to the northwest, west, southwest, and northeast are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you may use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the star of the doorway. Or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to the colors. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan faces east. The areas to the southwest, west, northwest, and northeast are out of harmony and need of balancing as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use white in the area of the north and south, and red or purple in the areas in the east and southeast. Remember that all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. You could choose anything from every hue from deep to light. The areas to the southwest, west, northwest, and northeast are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you could use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the star of the doorway, or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to the colors. In this diagram, the doorway of this floor plan faces southeast. The areas of the southwest, west, northwest, and northeast are out of harmony and need of balancing as shown in this figure. To correct this, you would use any shade of red or purple in the area of the northeast and southwest and navy or black in the areas of the west and northwest. Remember that all of the colors mentioned have a wide range of color shades to choose from. You could choose anything from every hue from deep to light. The areas of the north, south, east, and southeast are all positive and in no need of special treatment. In these areas, you may use the color of your birth star or the color that harmonizes your birth star with the starway of your door. Or you can use the colors of your lucky stars in these areas if you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of selection when it comes to colors. Balancing an unusual space can also be done by judging the relationship of the different areas to the main doorway in a different way. As shown in this diagram, you will notice that the element of the doorway and then that of the area of the axis of the door. The element of the east facing doorway is wood and of the southwest area it is earth. Wood and earth are out of harmony. To balance them you need fire. Therefore reds and or purples should go in the southwest area. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.